Okay. So, uh, we did a bad thing. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Hope you're all having a really great day. Um, I haven't done like a house update in the longest amount of time, um, but as you can see, things are changing slightly. So, uh, last thing I think I mentioned to you guys is that Jack was waiting to get his hands on a belt sander to do the floor upstairs. Um, and um, I don't know if I did mention it to you or not, but once that was done, and uh, there wasn't really much to do in the hallway, and then the next thing we were thinking about, and then the next thing we were thinking about doing is getting ourselves a pair of kiddies to join us, which would have been amazing. So that has kind of been put on pause because um, I kind of floated the idea that maybe we should put parquet wood flooring down in the lounge. Okay, so here is the wood. Um, so it is like the wood itself is probably in a better condition than the wood we've laid upstairs just because uh, it doesn't have that like thick varnish on top of it. So um, it will be way easier to like sand and stuff. But it does have like a carpet mastic all over it, um, which we have to get off. So that has to come off. The tar on the bottom of these ones is so much better than the tar on the other ones. However, these ones seem to have come out of a building yard and they're like covered in like little bits of like gravel and dirt and stuff. So um, yeah, they do need a bit more of a clean than other ones that I've seen. So yeah, this is um, quite messy. It's gonna do a little bit of extra TLC, more so than the last lot. Good morning guys. So it's a few days later since I last showed you our extra delivery we've had of parquet wood flooring. Um, Jack has been super, super busy while I've been at work most days and he has absolutely been cracking on with the lounge. So for those of you that can remember, our lounge is quite big and we've been using it as kind of like a workshop, I suppose, throughout our renovation um we're now starting to clear it ready for painting decorating and laying the flooring um so the other day we cleared out the store cupboard and jack went down and took loads of stuff to the tip which was an experience because obviously clearing rubble and household waste um from the building site uh, actually you have to pay for so it cost us about 80 pounds yeah uh 80 pounds to clear the store everything that we've taken out of the flat so far um so yeah he's also been kind of like doing bits of repairs around the room so the ceiling and things like that little jobs that needed to be done before we could start actually getting in here and decorating and removing tiles from the floor. So let me give you a little shot of what the room is looking like now, just so you guys can see. Um, I really can't wait to see this room change because there has been so much happen around the rest of the flat. I feel like it's been a bit neglected. And obviously this is where Jack spends most of his time. So this for him is going to be really, really exciting. Okay, so uh, we did have um, floor tiles down here and we've had to get rid of those. So they actually, we weren't sure if they had asbestos in them or not, but we have taken them to the tip. We did all the safety precautions that needed to be done as if they were asbestos and disposed of them as if they were asbestos. So we did the right thing. Um, so the floor and the whole room is looking so much bigger now. Um, the ceiling has been uh, skimmed in the places where the boards met. So there was a little bit of movement in some of the ceiling boards. So Jack has put some like uh, tape along them and like plastered over them and sanded it. And that looks so good now. You'll remember that Jack took out the fireplace before and built a little cubby, which is very, very cute. Um, but yeah, the room itself has all been electrically wired already. Some of the bits need like a little bit of a finish. Um, all the like big cracks or anything like that have been filled. 
Um, it's all kind of coming together really quickly. This room will come together really quickly. Oh, just to show the room from a different angle. So I've just been in the garden for the day, just continuing my little excursion of digging out and sorting out this end. I feel like this is making some really good progress now. We're getting there slowly. It's starting to look more flat. Although I have noticed lots of like animals have been using this as like a dust bath, which has been quite funny to watch uh, from my window. Um, yeah, it's just continuous. I've also started doing some of the floor tiles today. So we started prepping those uh, and they're coming along slowly but surely. So that's uh, a good step in the right direction. I don't know what Jack's been doing. I'm gonna go and have a little look indoors and see how he's getting on. But the garden is flourishing. Everything's growing so big. Um, it's like quite a mission to kind of keep on top of it and that kind of thing. Although we did get a new thing the other day. I just haven't shown you my new bench. So yeah, we got a little bench. This is somewhere for me to sit down and have a rest. It's a massive, <laughs> massive pile of weeds that we've pulled up. And there's another giant bag of them over there as well. I don't know what we're gonna do about all these weeds. Like it's a bit insane, um, but oh boy. Hey guys, so today is Monday had to think then for a moment. Um, I just thought I'd give you an update and show you what we've been up to over the weekend. We have hit a bit of a snag. Seems like snags happen, but um, yeah. We've had some new windows fitted. It's a bit of a surprise, it wasn't expected. We did order some new pa like panes of glass to go in our windows weeks ago. And to be fair, with so much going on recently, we both forgot about it and they turned up and Jack fitted them. So I'm just going to show you the difference. It is incredible. So here is our window. As you can see, this one here is the new one and this is the old one. Um, so all the old ones had blown. They got condensation in them. You couldn't actually see out of them. And um, yeah, we've had them done in pretty much all of the rooms. So, um, so that's the kitchen. And then in the lounge, let me show you in the lounge. Oh my God, I just love it. Uh, you can properly see now in the garden, which is amazing. Um, it's so clear, it's crazy. With this one, we were able to clean the other sides of the windows as well, which is really, really good. So they're all nice and clean. You can just about make out some birds. Having a squabble on my bird feeder. Yeah, I have lots of birds in the garden, which is absolutely great. However, we also have this problem. Yes, so. So yeah, we have developed a bee's nest. Um, it's an underground bee's nest. We're not quite sure how many bees are in there. I've spoken to a beekeeper today um, as to what the best course of action is, whether he thinks that we should get it removed or whether we should leave it. He thinks we should leave it. So um, some of the stuff that we were gonna do in the garden, I think is gonna be put on pause because uh, they're a little bit territorial and they don't like me going near it, even though I've managed to throw two tables and a tablecloth over it. But, yeah, we're just going to leave that like that till the end of summer, by the sounds of it now. So, <sighs> a bit of a pain. But bees are really important for nature and I don't want to kind of remove them unless I really have to. And I was a little bit worried about them, you know. So... Yeah, it's a thing, it's a thing. Anyway, let me show you where we're up to in the lounge. So yes, we have finished painting the lounge. There's so much stuff in here, it is redonkulous. Um, 
obviously we needed to paint it before we started trying to put the floor down um otherwise it would just get paint all over the floor um and yeah there we are we've also stripped the wood around the door frame so that's going to be painted and i think in the next day or so jack's going to be sorting out the floor over here because it's not quite flat and we need to put some like self-leveling compound down so that when we lay the parquet wood um it goes flat on it but yeah it's coming along this is kind of i suppose the layout so this is so just as an fyi this is kind of like the layout that i think we're going to be going for jack's mounted his telly already i think we're going to have like a new recliner and a new sofa here there and then this will make a nice little walkway for me to walk the washing through onto the balcony and then over here we'll probably have like a small dining table in front of the radiator and then Jack's drum kit and then maybe here a nice little climbing frame for some furry friends eventually um, so yeah, we did put a new pane of glass in the bedroom window as well. And it's just so nice to be able to actually see outside the windows again. Um, they just got so fogged up and steamy over winter that it just felt really horrible. Um, let me just turn you around. Hang on. There we go. I mean, what a good view out the window that is. So I've been doing lots of clearing of like the ground out there, trying to get it nice and flat and kind of getting up loads of like weeds and things. Oh, we've got some little blue tits in the garden at the moment. Very cute. There they are. Having a little hunt in my tree, trying to find some food and forage. Um, yeah, but this oh dear this is a problem i don't think you can actually see any bees around it at the moment maybe they're all tired and having a rest but we have had a lot of bee activity over the past 24 to 48 hours um anyway so i think i'm gonna go because i feel like this vlog has been so long and it's been a bit of a topsy-turvy one but uh, as you can see, there's a lot happening, there's a lot of good stuff going on and more exciting things to come. So, yeah. Next week, I'm going to meet our new furry friends. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll get you guys to come along. I'll see you soon. Bye.